guys it is six in the morning and there is snow in my yard ah! <laughs> this the we we we, we, we. Ah! whatever My God! Still <laughs> we love the snow. Hello, everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wesi Tagani, and today we're broadcasting live from outside we in the in the city baby the big city of the mountain kingdom of Lesotho guys it is snowing heavily and we're enjoying the snow today we're gonna be outside doing what people do when they're in the snow you know we never really experienced this amount of snow in the lowlands or in Maseru it usually happens Every single year we have snow, but it only happens in the highlands. Sometimes it does fall in Maseru, but it's never this much. So we're outside. We're enjoying the snow. And um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're happy about it. We are happy. Like, guys, you won't believe. <laughs> My shoes, my shoes are stuck in snow. <laughs> Guys, the snow is too much. So much that even my tree is falling down. Like this tree. I can't believe this tree is in this position because of the snow. Oh my God. Hi guys, we're having too much fun in the snow. Let me see if I can, I can make a snowman. Guys, everything is just so white here. You can't even see my little snowman. Ah! Yes, yeah, so ah! it's gonna fall off. Ah! Let's see. Oh, yeah. come on. Ah! The nose is facing up, my friend. See? That's it. That's it. My snowmen don't even have eyes.
late for class like today's class is a mess nobody told us what was actually really going on uh damn there's no evidence whatsoever that there was no here <laughs> you gotta laugh at the moment went to class let's let's go Next day, after the snowfall, we're walking to the mall. Well, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to do some window shopping. Get pet, what you do? Korea, now, and I Nothing more extreme. Get on a half hour, let us Ah, Luna and Zelsha, but to come, I try. I'm a pech. I get in, I'm a tatal naya. So, have a giving, yes. This one. Oh, even yet. Hey, I don't see a jarring. You are lying. I am not lying. Who's a tatal secret? In my stomach, there's a pain. You walk in my direction, I go the other up way. I start to stutter when I speak You understand what I need is cool Yes What's happening to me? It's cool In the dark, can you tell me you what you mean? You don't know what you're not doing, man I lay my head on my pillow man. Staring out the window I'm trying to stop for a sign For the reason why In my notebook, checking how my hair and my nails look. I feel myself in the zone, and you're nervous when you're gone. I say I'm not home. See your face, like you're my favorite song. Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone. I wonder if you know, or do you have a clue? I lay my head on my pillow, and you got me staring out the window. We were showing the stars outside. What's the reason why?
Hey guys, so today is a new day of the vlog. Um, I think the last time you saw me I was preparing breakfast, but since then I have cleaned the entire house and I've washed dishes, swept, mopped, and I've done the laundry. It's outside. I think I'll show you that. It wasn't a lot. Uh, so right now the time is, let me see, sorry. Whoa! It's four minutes left before lunch time and i just wanted to do my face care routine i have since i've already washed my face so i use this i don't know how you pronounce it is it cerave or cherave oh you can never really know um my lips are dry sorry my lips are dry. Uh, I use that for my face wash, the CeraVe. Um, SA Smoothing Cleanser for dry, rough, bumpy skin. Yeah, about that. I actually have oily skin. <laughs> so it says for dry skin. Anyway, who cares? And then for my scrub, I use the Dieden. What is this? Himalaya Purifying Neem Daily Scrub. This is the second day of the week that I'm using it. I'm going to scrub my face like three times a week. And so now I am going to apply the Ihima Layar the face oh the purifying neem peel off mask it's a gel and it is greenish green it's cold it's cold as ice, it's cold as ice, but we're gonna put it on because we want to be swine even in the winter. <laughs> yes, this is the winter I ordered. Some of us who enjoy winter because we know our illnesses. So people must just leave us alone and enjoy wind. So oh this is it. I'm gonna wait for it to dry so I can peel it off just a little over here. And this is how we do it. Go. Um, you know, there are a couple of things on my mind weighing me down heavily these days. Things like friendship, things like, um, how I plan to execute my plan for next year after graduation. I don't know where I'm going to start. So I don't know if it's going to work out. I need to know how I'm going to move forward. Ooh, this is cold. So that is really 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 weighing me down lately and you know when i decided i'm going to school this year i told myself i'm not going to worry about what happens after school after graduation 
I'm just going to enjoy the process of being in school and all of that and take things as they come and not worry about the future at all. But I find myself here once again. I think after a post I saw on Facebook, somebody had said, you know, once you're done with school and you've graduated, you feel a certain type of loneliness, a certain type of... They had described it as feeling like you're an orphan of some sort because you don't know where to after that, you know, how or how, you know, you deal and approach things after that. So that is where I'm at. That is where my mind is at. And with friendships... I realize, you know, I've lost a lot of friendships, a lot. And I'm beginning to wonder if the problem is me, per se, or if I'm just the kind of person that just doesn't, you know, if you don't put in effort, I'm not putting in effort anymore. Because I have tried and put in effort, but people just don't seem to care that much about me anyway. So I'm stuck between is it me or is it them? Uh, or am I not providing the materialistic things and friendships? Because uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm broke. And so the only thing I can offer in a friendship or that I do my best to offer in a friendship is listening and just being there and checking up on my friends and all of that. You know, I'm that person. I am that person that will check in. Hey, how are you doing? How's your day? What are you doing right now? Have you eaten? You know, something that you would consider as stupid, but to me it's like, okay, Somebody, if somebody did that for me, I would be like, you're checking in on me? Thanks. I'm doing great. Or I'm not doing great, actually. You know, it gives you an opportunity to just, to just vent and let off steam and maybe pick up somebody's brain on what they would do if they were in your kind of situation, you know? So I'm just like, mm, you know, my friends... I don't know if anybody really has checked up on me like that. I don't remember. If they have, I don't remember. Honestly. Uh, I think I have one right now and we haven't talked in a long time. I feel so bad. She used to check up on me and say, how are you doing? You know, there was a time when I couldn't even pray for myself and she was like, if you can't pray, just do your normal uh, tabelamora and then just be over and done with it. I, was, I did it and I, it was a trick that worked actually. So I appreciated that a lot. I still owe her. She doesn't know. I'm actually planning a lunch. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it. So I'm planning a lunch to take her out sometime. Fingers crossed, it's sometime this year. Okay. Sometime. No. Sorry. Woo. Hopefully that lunch will come sometime this year. You know, so. Yeah. Pray for me. I feel like I need strength. To, to just keep going, guys. To just keep going. You know, as somebody who's always... Who always seems to be all right and and energetic and you know hyper and all that that energy does wear out some time and you know you need people to do to pick you up and just lift you up just keep moving uh this thing is taking a long time to dry and because I didn't apply it here, it makes me look like now I'm super, super dry. Woo! Okay. I'll see you when we peel this off.
Yep. I'm feeling you, I'm feeling you, my baby. And we are back. Ah, I look like I was bent by oil or whatever. Ooh, my skin is tight, you guys. And my eyes are like, pop my bottle of pop champagne. That's how I get it. So, ooh, this is it. Uh, it's a lot of work to to pull to peel this thing off, but I promise you, it'll be worth it. Your skin is gonna feel bright and refreshed and it's gonna feel new you're gonna feel alive give this peel <laughs> Ooh, don't get in my eye I beg One of the many things I enjoy doing in my spare time, especially because I am, ha, I look like an addict of some sort. <laughs> As I was saying, ow, in my spare time, because I'm an overthinker, I like to cook. Nah. Cooking helps me to be able to focus on what I'm doing, to be able to focus on one thing and not think about a lot of things at the same time. It helps my mind to rest a little bit, you know? And what's making me feel sad about that these days is I feel like I've overdone it and I'm tired and I don't get to rest, not even once. So when I say I'm tired or I feel like having somebody else's food, people think I'm just being selfish if you don't understand where i'm from where i come from with that oh guys this thing feels great ah yes i encourage it so i don't know what i'm gonna do about this cooking situation i am tired i don't know if I need a new hobby or something, I don't know what that would be because um, I taught myself how to do the stick on nails. I mean, bam. Oh, I had to cut them short, shorter because Hey, Zia Kala, Zia Kala is calling Bagit, Zia Color, Zia Color. You know, whatever is remaining, I'll just have to wash it off. I still have to wash my face again and then moisturize it. No problem. No problem. You know, I feel. So happy that I was able to do this job, and guys, like, I never have time to do this thing. 
Whenever I get home, I'm always tired. Oh, it's too early in the morning and it's cold, so I can't. I mean, this thing was already cold right now, as is at one o'clock. So, I want a new hobby, guys. Please help me with a new hobby. I don't know. And please don't tell me to read. I don't like reading. <laughs> That's a very bad thing to say, but I don't like reading. I'd rather watch videos. I don't like reading, Shem. So, I need a new hobby. Um, I tried baking as well, if you will remember, but... Uh, it didn't really work out well for me because of the stove and everything. Ah, how? Yeah. The stove was, became a hot mess, so we're no longer doing that. It must be something that is affordable. I don't, I don't, yo. It must be affordable, please. Please, in the comment section, they are help me out with, with a new hobby. Mm. Guys, let me wash off my face so I can come back and we can moisturize. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wash of the remaining one this one got to my hair and it is painful let me do this oh guys i had to come down in this room i'm very sorry because the lighting is better in this room yo doesn't matter we are gonna wash this off bye one thing about skincare you guys it will leave your lips dry. I can't get my side where I see. I'm so pale. So, guys, I'm going to use my lotion, and it's almost, almost running out to moisturize my face. Um. This is the Trifam Cream. Uh, it has vitamin E. Ideal for ideal for dry, cracked skin. This is it. There we go. So I'm just gonna moisturize her. Mm. They said when you apply these things, you must not take your face down. <laughs> you know, I'm not a skincare type of person. These are my sister's doings. Every single year when she came home from school, she would encourage me to do these things. And I'm just like, mm-mm. All this work, uh -uh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have time. Uh -uh. So, but this time around, when she came, I felt like these particular products actually worked for me. I felt them and I saw them work for me. I mean, in my other vlog, my last vlog, I saw how. How, how how nice my skin really was. And it was a testament to the fact that these products really work for me. You can try them out. But if they don't work for you, they just don't work for you. Keep trying and find something that actually works for your skin. Because we're not the same skin type. We can't react and receive to these products all the same way, you know. So that's that. So while we're still on the topic of, you know, getting things off our chest and lamenting, one other thing that actually uh, 
is weighing me down is the numbers on this channel. They are still so very low after so many years. When did we start this channel? Sometime during the first lockdown, 2020. Yeah, I think somewhere there. And we are still not even at 150 or 250. We are still below a low hundred. And it's starting to weigh me down. I didn't care about the numbers at first, but you know, as you continue to put up content, you feel like you need some kind of motivation. And I feel like that motivation would come from, you know, seeing the numbers go up every time as you as you upload, you know. But I this one of getting one subscriber after many months and whatnot. Ah, my tired is tired. But I can't, here I'm a third. I can't just drop it because I actually like vlogging. It's one of the many mechanisms I use to help me just not to overthink, just to focus on what I'm doing. Because remember I said I'm an overthinker. Cooking is also one of them. So I just can't stop vlogging. <clears throat> That's that's the thing. So I'm going to go in with my vitamin E. Is it C? Vitamin C serum. The Skin Republic. Are you sure you are being? Yeah. I'm sure you saw it, guys. I'm going to do this thing. We've become scientists. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mm. The feeling of refreshment these products will give you in eh? That's it. That's the one. So, as I was saying. I would love to see the growth of this channel in terms of numbers and I am working on the growth in terms of uh, the equipment. We're not there yet. We're far from getting there but one step at a time. You know, one thing big YouTubers will always tell you is to not give up, to not make excuses. I don't have a camera. I don't have this. Girl, you have a phone. You have a smartphone. Why don't you use there? You know? Hey, what is this thing in my hair? I will work on it. So, guys, I think I'm done for the day. Now, I think I am done for today maybe the next time when we meet it will be on a sunday on a church day and we will be busy praising the good lord he seems to be you know opened up a little bit to blessing me so that's where we're at. We're just swimming in that open door of blessings right now. Hey, 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 keep doing it. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> okay, I'll see you again next time. I'm almost done with my extra lessons. I have two lessons left. The lessons that, you know, I can't share with you right now, but it is on its way, but in due time, I will, you know what I'm saying, but we're almost done with those, and I am so happy because now I can, eh, I can finally focus on my schoolwork, which I had neglected because the girl can focus on a lot of things at the same time. I will lose my mind. 
you know what I mean? So, another thing, guys, is to get used to the sound. <laughs> Ooh, I'm from the ghetto. To this gown, because as long as... Sapefumula. As long as we are in the house, as long as umpefum no osa de bene minyam. Ha! Ukwawe! Kirinya rakezum. As long as we are in the house, guys, and it's winter, we're in the, our gowns. As soon as we get from school, as, as soon as we get from uh, shopping, town, whatever errands, we jump into the suit. Can we take a jumpsuit? We jump into the into the gown guys can you see how my skin is popping right now <laughs> i'll see you pretty soon you guys i love you please don't forget to subscribe smash it smash the subscribe button like comment ring the notification ring the notification bell yes uh -huh. Uh, so that you get notified every time I put up a post and I'm going to try as much as I can to put up a, um, a vlog every single Monday. Mondays are for vlogs because I noticed that, you know, a lot of vloggers or YouTubers post on a Sunday. So, uh, we're going to post on a Monday. Yeah. And Mondays I don't have a class. So, um, I have time to edit to give the vlogs one last edit, one last look, and, you know, finish it off. Bye, you guys. I will see you on a Sunday.